Yeah, we're way down on power. I have barely have any throttle control. He keeps cutting in and out on the... Uh... Hello and good day. Welcome back to Simply Greg Surrey B. Today you join us here with my 2024 Fiat 500 for a proper cold weather winter range test. Uh, a lot of you might be asking, haven't you done a winter range test on this car? Well, yes we have, but not when it's minus 20 outside. So that's what we're going to do today. And a lot of viewers have been asking for a proper minus 20, minus 25 cold weather test. So let's get into it. Let's see what the Fiat does. Why am I out here? My face is absolutely frozen. I'm freezing. We're going to make this as short as possible on the outside because my face is absolutely frozen. So Fiat's charging up. We're going up to 100% state of charge. We're at our usual uh, flow site here. Right off Highway 20. Well, that's Harwood. Highway 20 is up there. We'll get back in the car and I'll explain the uh, testing procedure and the results from the previous test. It's just too effing cold outside right now to do any sort of filming. And I know my camera is going to die. But we all know how the car charges, so we don't need to get into that. It's really, really cold outside. I think with the wind chill, it's like minus 30. Uh, actual air temperatures around minus 19, according to my phone. The car saying minus 14. I don't trust the Italian outside air temperature sensor. Um, Fiat hasn't been uh, very good at measuring any sort of temperature. Okay, so we've done this test already in minus five Celsius. We got 183 kilometers, but I really drained down the battery like well below 0% SOC BMS. And this is a video, as I've mentioned, that a lot of people have been asking for, do a proper cold weather range test, do it more realistic, cold, wind, all of that. So we got everything today. We have cold air temperature, we have I think a 20 kilometer hour headwind. And what we're going to do, we're going to go up to 100%. Like always, we're at 92% state of charge indicated now. We're going to head west into Ontario. We'll take the Highway 20 in Quebec. We'll go through Ontario, 401, around 50% state of charge. We'll turn around and come back the other way and see if we make it back here to Vaudreuil Dorion at the uh, flow site. Um, temperature is going to be at 20 Celsius. Tired pressures are checked. I mean, that's all we could. Uh, that's all we could really do here. I think this is going to be an interesting one. I'm predicting if I get 120 kilometers out of this test, I'll I'll be happy. Uh, leave your comment below. Uh, what do you think we're going to get out of this test? As I said, the previous test I netted, I believe, 183, 184. Just hit 100% state of charge. Let's go get unplugged. I do like these buttons on the car, though. I'll, I'll give it that makes getting in and out very very easy let's get unplugged here hopefully that's good to go wow well, world first the fiat unplugged on the first shot sometimes the uh, ccs connection with this car to get it to initiate a charge or um to get it to unlatch takes a very long time so we're all good here we'll get back in we'll start the test all set up in here that is good everything is all right here and let's just reset this trip one more time and we'll reset to trip A on the, um, sorry, we'll re reset trip B on the way back. I'll just zero that out as well. Okay. Um, yeah, 100% state of charge showing 225 kilometers. It used to show 227, but right? now it's down to that. Um, yeah, let's, there's nothing else really to talk about. We could start the test. Let's go uh, head out now. Right, our first update is as follows. 94% state of charge. We have traveled seven kilometers. We are getting brutalized by the wind here. That's our data. 88.63% state of charge, SOC BMS. Uh, battery temp is still at uh, between 18 Celsius to 20 Celsius. So we're still plenty warm on the battery. That's gonna be interesting to see, to see how quick it starts coming down. But uh, yeah, those snow drifts are uh, for real people. This is not uh, winter time where it's like, oh, it's zero degrees Celsius and it's cold outside. This is the real deal here. Uh, averaging 28.5 kilowatt hours per hundred. We're trying not to draft off of anything. There's a Dodge Ram in front of us and we're just passing the uh, way scale here in uh, St. Lazar. And you can see that flag. You can see that flag, how it's uh, standing up straight. So the wind out here is the uh, real deal. Traveling 105 kilometers an hour. This is what we used in the uh, last test as well, but the last test was not as windy as uh, this. So should be an interesting test. It should be fun. Kick back, grab your favorite snack, and uh, let's see what this little Fiat does. 
This is our 80% state of charge update. We've traveled 30 kilometers so far. We're actually just passing Riviere Baudet now. We're not even in Ontario yet and we've already burned through 20% state of charge. Um, battery voltage uh, is reading 367 volts. SOC BMS, sorry, I'll just come out so you can maybe kind of make it out. It's kind of hard. Um, SOC BMS 75% on SOC BMS. Battery temperature has somewhat stayed uh, stable on uh, this. I don't know if it got frozen or lost in translation, but the battery temperature is kind of remaining stable. Cell voltage is uh, 3.8 volts on, um, on a max cell voltage, but uh, everything is good here for now, except the massive headwind, the wonderful quality of Quebec roads, as we already know on this channel. Quebec is the world leader in um, road construction. Um, that headwind is absolutely brutalizing us right now. Uh, 20, 4.3 kilowatt hours per hundred. It's actually gotten a bit better as there's more trees around, but um, yeah, two kilometers away from the uh, junction 401, Toronto 460 kilometers. And uh, I may be taking this to Toronto, just north of Toronto in a, in a few weeks. That should be a uh, interesting road trip if I do take it or the uh, VinFast. Either way, it's going to be interesting. If I take the Fiat, um, I might have to uh, pack a sleeping bag and sleep in the car possibly. But we'll be checking out the charging infrastructure in Ontario and that flag. Yeah, look at that flag there at the air disservice. It's absolutely standing up uh, straight. So brutal headwind as we cross into Ontario. This is our 70% state of charge update traveled 45.3 kilometers we're averaging 24 kilowatt hours per hundred uh it says 137 kilometers of remaining range 66 percent soc bms battery voltage is at 357 volts uh, everything is good here it's showing minus 13 outside but uh, like i said i don't trust that outdoor air temperature sensor i think i should purchase an actual air temperature sensor uh, if anyone could recommend me something that's not for my cigar humidor because I've already tried one of those and it failed Miserably actually that was my fault I left it on top of the car and then drove off and I saw it smash into pieces on the highway So then I had to go and purchase another one as this model Y passes us probably laughing So if anyone could suggest a good thermometer that's uh, reasonably accurate Please let me know in the comment section and if you made it this far Please think about liking and subscribing a lot of people are watching the videos, but not a lot of people are subscribing so please subscribe if you like what you see and obviously you do because you're watching with high watch times i see all of this i can already hear also the comment section saying oh evs suck evs don't work look this is a city ev it has the aerodynamics of a small uh, garden shed mind you a lot of good inventions have come out of a garden shed uh, yeah this is not really built for the uh, long highway runs we already know that on this channel in fact i believe my Mini Cooper Electric is uh, slightly more efficient at highway speeds, to be honest with you. Uh, but this has a slightly bigger battery and blah, blah, blah. But yes, EVs can definitely work in the cold. I have a video where we took a 1500 kilometer road trip. It's not out yet, it should be out soon. Um, it's a lot of footage to edit. But again, Fiat 500e, if you're thinking about buying one and if you're wooed in by the uh, low price, Look at the sort of driving you do, because if you're doing a lot of commuting on the highway, like 80, 90 kilometers, 100 kilometers a day, it may not be the correct car for you. It works for us. My drive to work is about 30 kilometers. Uh, Laura's drive to work is about, I think, 15. So it works out good f for us. Buy the car that suits your needs. Don't necessarily look at price. This is one of the cheapest EVs in Canada, new under $30,000 now. They're trying to get rid of the, the, the remaining stock, but also at the same time, you could pick up a used Polestar 2 long range in that same price range that's a year or two old. You could even get an Ionic 5 these days in that price range, maybe with a bit of kilometers, but there's options out there for that under 30, around $30,000 range. Let's say like 27 to 32,000. 50% state of charge. This is going to be our turnaround point here, here at McConnell Avenue in Cornwall, Ontario. Quick off and on. We'll just be getting off of here where 50, we just hit 50% state of charge now. 49% uh, SOC BMS. Battery temperature is really holding stable on this car. I'm really impressed with that. It hasn't frozen because I went back into the settings and uh, it was still reading properly. So that's okay in terms of uh, battery module temperature. I'm reading from two 
temperature modules and let me pay attention to the road here okay we'll turn around here no cars coming that way all right this is and now the sun's going to be right in the camera's face and right in my face too well that was actually a good exit right off and on no dealing with nonsense lights or anything so we'll click on trip b once we get on the highway we'll reset it east towards uh, Montreal. we'll go this way thrown in here as i said uh, before the fiat's not the uh car that's built for handling that's the uh, mini who cares if we pick up a bit of regen i don't think it's going to skew the results all that much this is not uh, scientific testing we'll get back up to speed here nothing behind us for once that's nice let's reset we'll reset trip here in a moment we'll hit 105 so cruise on cruise ready cruise control is set we will re-hit we will reset trip b is reset all good over here so 49 percent state of charge just turned around and let's see if we make it back to uh, Vaudreuil and also what the efficiency is going to be uh, going back to uh, Vaudreuil Dorian as we're out of the wind and you can tell we're right out of the wind now because you could actually have a conversation inside the car. All right, we'll check back in uh, shortly around. Coming up to 30% state of charge, we have traveled in total 106.2 kilometers. Uh, SOC, BMS, 32.16 battery temperature has stayed somewhat stable throughout this entire trip pack voltage is down to 337 volts which is sort of normal cell voltage 3.53 volts we're just coming up to the uh, quebec border now we're almost there at the uh, air de service in the uh, rivier baudet saying 50 kilometers of indicated range we've been averaging on total trip total 22.6 kilowatt hours per hundred but at the, since the turnaround, because we've picked up that massive tailwind, now we're doing 18.9 kilowatts per 100. Um, average speed's been roughly 105, right, right on the dot. I mean, it's perfect. Travel time, one hour and uh, two minutes. So I think we'll hit, well, I think we'll get over the um, 120 kilometers that I predicted. It's just how much over 120 kilometers are we going to get as we just hit 30% state of charge. Motor is drawing 16 kilowatts, 17 kilowatts. It's kind of all over the place. Um, two kilowatts hour, sorry, two kilowatts on the uh, climbing. As usual, just hit 14% state of charge. We have our first battery power level warning. That's going to be the first one. Uh, SOC BMS 18% to SOC BMS, 24 kilometers of range remaining. We'll make it back to our destination, no problem. We've traveled uh, 136 kilometers so far and 63 kilometers since the turnaround, 18.8 kilowatt hours per 100 and 21.8 kilowatt hours per 100. It's been not bad because we're in a tailwind now, but I assume if you were continuing heading into that headwind, you probably would have needed to charge at around 120 kilometers. What we're going to do here at 13% state of charge is because we'll arrive too high state of charge at the uh, charger, is we'll get off here, we'll jump on the 30, we'll take the 30 to the um, to the first exit before the toll booth and we'll get up on the uh, tunnel and we'll turn around there. We'll just get on over here as everything goes flying. All right, get back on the highway and it should all be good. But uh, the wind has really picked up here. It's really barren out here. Okay, things are getting uh, pretty hairy here. 2% state of charge. I have barely have any throttle control. It keeps cutting in and out on the uh, throttle. As I mentioned, luckily these uh, Transport Quebec guys are going extremely slow so I could follow them. 2% uh, indicated, 7% SOC BMS. We're just getting into uh, Vaudreuil Dorion here. And uh, I don't want to press my luck in this cold. That was, a bit, uh, that was a bit scary getting on the highway. As I said on this channel, safety is paramount with everything. But um, we'll get to that charging site over here. And I think I'm going to call this test. Actually, we're fine in this lane for now. We'll stay here. And we'll stay here in case we have to bail off to the uh, right, but we'll, we should arrive fine. Uh, if I was actually on a road trip, I'd probably uh, plug in at 10% state of charge. I, I wouldn't run it down um, this much, but uh, yeah, that was, uh, 
that was some poo maybe came out getting on the highway because that was not good I know this car starts cutting throttle out really low but I didn't expect a big drop of throttle like that getting onto uh, onto a highway so yeah we'll just uh, we'll pull into here and that's it we made it back to the charging site the charging site is there it is free it is empty we have made it back and we'll give some final thoughts here we've made it back we made it back to the charging site. I plugged in a 2% state of charges. It was about 7% SOC BMS. Because uh, I, like I said, I had no heating in here. So hopefully now we'll maybe get some HVAC back. Uh, let's go over the numbers and I'll give you the final thoughts. So we drove 160.9 kilometers, roughly an hour and uh, 35 minutes. We've been here parked up about four minutes. Average efficiency, 20.6 uh, 20 uh, 20 kilowatt hours per 100. Uh, we'll go to the driving history. Let's see. So it says current drive really high um, kilowatt hours per hundred the car wasn't happy but it is what it is um that's roughly 25 kilometers less than what we drove when we did the first range test which i believe was at minus seven or something it's saying minus 13 but i think it's closer to minus 20 outside and when finally just got hvac back at seven percent state of charge my advice is in the winter time don't run your cars down uh, this low stop and charge at 10 15 percent it's just not it's not worth the uh, risk uh, as I said, we drove 161 kilometers, 160.9 kilometers, 160.9 kilometers. Um, that headwind was absolutely brutal. Probably one of the most brutal headwinds I experienced on uh, this trip. Consumption wasn't too bad once we got out of the headwind, but what was good was the battery temperature stayed relatively okay at around uh, between 14 to 18 celsius which is really good um, as i said the car was parked inside the uh, garage i think if we would have parked outside for a few days we should redo this range test with a cold battery and uh, see what we get but uh, it's march here already and i think we'll only have a few more days where it's actually cold like this floating around a minus 20. Uh, yeah anyways that was uh, pretty scary getting back on the highway when the car could throttle almost completely and then I had some throttle back when I put the uh, when I mashed the uh, velocitator pedal down to the floor. I finally got some power back, and those uh, Transport Quebec guys were luckily there, where I was able to just uh, follow them, doing uh, 65, 70 kilometers an hour. I know we all like to see these type of range tests where you run out on the side of the road, but um, I don't think it would be very fun. There's really no point to it. Uh, this is more just to see what the car would do. So probably down to 10% state of charge would probably be 160 to there. I'd say probably 145-ish, probably 145, 150 maybe down to 10%. Just stop and charge then. You don't want to be running out on the side of the road when it's minus 20 outside and it's going to cost you uh, like $200 of uh, two or $300 of towing to get off the highway now. It's just not worth it. I know we do it for cool YouTube videos and stuff, but uh, you don't want to break down period on the, on the highway. And also it's kind of illegal if you know you're going to run out of uh, fuel or battery charge on the uh, highway. Anyways, I think we'll leave it at that. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. As I mentioned, as we're just getting battery... Um, power back up here we'll charge here for about 15 minutes i'll head back home and edit the video again thank you for watching if you've made it this far i really really appreciate um, everyone watching these uh, videos there's some good comments out there um, i thank all our new subscribers and uh, we'll see you again in the next video so bye for now